Uh, even well, I mean, you, I just listened to you oh, literally said it is. Oh, yeah, I, I, I heard we're having blood sports, but apparently somebody named Tommy wouldn't show up. I, this guy, and apparently after me bashing him for 20 minutes at the end of his stream before he cut it, he goes, I like Andy and I respect him because he made fun of me. He says, uh, I'm not going to give Andy the time of day. I'm like, oh, so I went off on him. And then apparently at the end, he cucked out and said that he respects me. So uh, quartering. So what is the salt line you're referring to? Where was the uh, salt that was coming from me? Oh, well, it appears to me, at least, that you're taking this criticism pretty personally. But maybe that's just me not being fair. I don't know. But I don't really see a lot of criticism. Well, point it like, out to me how I'm taking it personally. Show me. Well, you shot a 20-minute video in response. Yeah, to faggots trying to ruin something fun. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound salty at all. No, that sounds realistic. I hate when Redditors <laughs> stick their nose into something and then fuck it up with their dumb critiques that really don't have any bearing on what the audience wants. So, so who's a dumb faggot? Well, you'd be among them. You've said a lot of so, dumb fucking shit. So, so I'm a dumb faggot. Yeah. So, okay. So now we're getting to some high quality. Some high well, sure quality we are with your passive content. aggressive. Oh, Jim's being salty because what Andy made fun of your Magic: The Gathering game. Well, I After don't think you know what oh, passive Jim's, aggression Jim's, is. Jim's Jim. been Jim's been fair to me. But all, all of a sudden, Jim's got a salt mine because you read me talking about people in my comment section and thought it applied to you. Maybe that says something about your mentality more than what I'm saying. Well, your your tweet didn't say it was in your comment section, to be fair, did it? My tweet didn't say it was at you either. You read into it. Yeah, that's probably fair. So you're saying that you don't think I'm, oh, no, no, I, I'm a faggot. No, trying to yeah, ruin I, something I, you yeah, like, right? Yes, something no, most definitely. Something pure. I, I've noticed people like you like to use the we language a lot. Like, oh, we and us and stuff. You're not a part of this shit. You're not hosting blood sports. Who cares what your fucking input what you is? What are you referring to? Uh, it's entertainment. Why would it have a goal in the long run? So, Jim, am I not allowed to have an opinion? You can have an opinion, but it's fucking retarded. So your, your analysis of what couldn't have been a softer critique is that I'm a faggot trying to ruin something. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Yeah, that is my analysis. Yes. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that is my analysis. 100 percent. Yes. I, I guess I can't argue with that. I mean, that's some solid logic. Well, I know. I like to be sound. I like to use that rationalist, skeptical mindset. <laughs> that That's how I like to approach the internet, yeah. I also thought a lot of the other things you said in your video were fucking dumb, too. I mean, you went on about the, uh, it was uh, wrong for Andy to show Skype messages from Sargon. Why? It is fucking wrong. Why? Should he because be a bitch? Should he be he, a bitch and let somebody lie about, about me? A... He lied hey, about let me. me. Let, let me and Quartering have our talk. Sorry, Mute yourself. Sorry. Should he be a bitch and be a little beta and let somebody say something that's not true? So you're saying that there's no implied confidence when somebody's Skyping another person. You're talking to fucking people on the you're talking to people on the internet. Did you no, did you sign a fucking somebody... did you sign a non disclosure agreement? Is there is there a privacy notification when you're DMing people? Jim, you're trying to compare like a public tweet versus a personal Skype conversation. I didn't say it was illegal. I said that it's immoral. So, so quartering, could I just make up a bunch of shit about you? And then if you had information that that wasn't true from private conversations, you would never use that. Have I before? If Hasbro or Wizard said Have shit I? about you and you had an email to talk about it, you would never share that because that's a private correspondence. Well, an there's, email there's from implied privacy, Hasbro. Right? Jim, an email from Hasbro is not the same thing as two friends talking on Skype. You if, can't possibly how think how it is. How much is of a friend argument? is he if he's going to lie? You don't even, he didn't need to show anything to prove his point, did he, Jim? According to your uh, mic, is a little bit fucked. God damn it. I and also, also, uh, me and him ain't pals. We're acquaintances on YouTube. Th that, that's good, Andy. Mute, mute yourself. But yeah, how much, how much of friends would they be if he's going to lie about him in front of a large audience? Is that fixed? Yeah, you sound fine. Does anybody else have that happen on Hangouts? Like after hey, exactly Hangouts are dog seconds? shit. It happens Google a lot. You just have to refresh the page. Fucking awful. I don't understand why that. It seems to happen to me. Like I think it must be an exact amount of time, like a minute twenty or something. It fucking glitches out all the time. So wait, how do I get angry again? Oh yeah, okay. So you're you're saying? I mean, I I think I said the wording used in that video is that is something I wouldn't do. 
I don't do that. I don't think that it's fair to say, well, you would leak an email from Wizards of the Coast. That's the same thing as emailing or sharing DMs. I don't agree with that. That doesn't mean uh, I'm right. So, so what should agree. Andy have done? Just sat there and taken it? He didn't even need to acknowledge it, did he? Oh, so he should be a good boy and keep his mouth shut and just not acknowledge it when somebody Jim, talks shit about Jim, it. that's not what I said. This is What this are is, you saying, Quartering? What should Andy saying, have done in response to being lied about on a live stream by Sargon of Akkad in front of, like, fucking 8,000 people? What should he have done? He didn't need to show up. I'm not saying the guy should go to jail. I'm saying he's bringing up criminality. What should Andy have done? That's that's all I'm asking. He can address it without sharing private conversations. He did not need everybody in his chat believed him, and everybody in Sargon's chat believed him. That's the way it fucking goes with this shit, right? No, so then I guess he changed minds by showing he had proof. His that that Skype conversation was far from proof. Andy, okay, I'm going to let Andy interject here because there is one follow up to this, and he mentioned it when you guys talked about it on stream as a follow up. Andy, you had previous conversations with Sargon nailing this down, didn't you? That was the last part of like a three or four part interaction with him. Andy, this is where you unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I went to to grab some food. I'm listening on my phone and I'm like, fuck, fuck, and I ran back. Uh, Sorry, what did you ask? I I said that the Skype cover or the DMs, whatever, that you had shown talking to Sargon about nailing down a Spencer and uh, him rematch. That was the last part of like a three or four uh, part interaction with him that spanned over a month, was it not? Yeah, I say a month and a week. I asked him. And you, you had confirmations from not only him, but V, that he was interested in doing it, that he was going to do it, that it was going to happen, correct? Yeah, well, actually, he was the one who told V to message me to set this up. And then I asked him, I think twice, and then I also asked V a bunch of times. And then when you brought it up on Kumite a few weeks ago, which was February, whatever, that's the last message. I'm like, hey, man, people are asking when you want to be uh, doing this stream. And then it, he said fairly soon. And I was like, cool. And then when he was on Baked Alaska stream, the only reason I was pissed off was it's been like a month and a week of fucking uh, pure jerking around. And then he said on Baked Alaska stream, I never told him I wanted to to talk to spencer and i but, was like okay that's but not only did he acknowledge that he wanted to do it he had v reach he had v contact you to set it up well you don't know that do you he did yes you know that is v, v, is v lying him? i don't know i'm asking i'm not saying but i know that, better I'm well that was the whole birth of the idea so you're saying like, hey, Andy, it sounds like you need to bring v on <laughs> he's probably around it was live hang on Ann. i know no he was trying to get it set up Quite a few days on the Kumite a few weeks ago. I don't, I don't remember how many weeks ago it was. I have, to, I have to let people know. I know there was no date set. I never said there was a date set. All I'm saying was he wanted to speak to Spencer. And then on Baked Alaska stream, he said he never said that. So now that he says he wants to, fair enough, cool. You let me know when you want that to happen. Okay, but don't tell people you never said you wanted to speak to him because you did. Well, That's this it. whole thing is a semantic argument, right? It's the same thing where he said, oh, it's a debate. I wanted to have a conversation. Well, it's supposed to be a debate. No, the quartering. He said he never told me he wanted to speak to Spencer. That's not semantics. That's a straight out lie, right? And then when I brought I wasn't it up. was there, Andy. I don't know. Then he was. Right? And, then when, and then when I brought it up, he was like, well, there was no date set. I'm like, I wasn't talking about a date. I'm just talking about you saying the original point. And he's like, well, that's not a promise. I'm like, but that is a commitment, but fine, whatever. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now let me know when you want it to happen. Don't tell people. That's like you saying, hey, Andy, I want on your show. And then you saying on your show, I never said I wanted on. And then I go in front of everyone, well, you did say that. And you're like, I didn't set a date. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, yeah, I know we're talking about dates right now. We're talking about you just wanting to just be on generally. No, I get it. it. I, I understand that you wanted to prove that you were, in your opinion, you were telling the truth or whatever, right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying it's just a different set of standards. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm saying I've been in the position before when Boogie was fucking ass blasting me. Did I release his Skype conversation? No, because it's just not fucking worth it. Being right is not the end all be all. You could have just said, in my opinion, Okay, whatever. You're I'm lying. sorry. No, no, no. Hang on. When I'm, my job 
is this. So when you slander my 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 job, basically that I can't set up debates or I don't know how to talk to people. Like, look, it's not like he yeah, was. Like, is that what he was saying, Andy? Is that what he said? Yeah, but he's making me seem like I'm lying when I'm setting up debates, which makes me look bad. But don't most it's of your fans call him like Sar- Sargoy or something like that? Like nobody, nobody in your base gives a fuck about what he has to say, don't you think? Uh, I wouldn't say all. Uh, that's convicting the loud minority for the majority. Is it? Okay. I mean, I'm reading chat and all I see is, you know, nonstop puns on. So I don't think they uh, really give a shit. Well, yeah, oh, that's the people who are in the in chat, chat, though. Chat? Hold oh, on. No. Hold on, though. That's the people who are in the chat. That's kind of reflective of the thumbs up, thumbs down ratio. A lot of people just like to watch. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you would say that you think it was imperative for you to. I mean, I'm not saying you did. Like I said, I wouldn't have done it. That was literally my point. You, if you watch the video, I couldn't have been kinder about it. It's not like I called you an no, asshole. It's fine. It's, fi- it's fine. I know. I said I don't share personal conversations that I don't think other people should either, especially if it's just. Can, the can I can I say something about that real quick? Slander. Hold on, real That's quick, funny. Andy. Andy, I I do have an objection to that. You said you don't release personal conversations. Yeah, I would prefer not to. Yeah. Oh, well, you said that you didn't. I did, oh, I didn't say. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about uh, the Magic the Gathering thing. There's a there's a conversation that V talked about you releasing between yourself and Boogie. That would be a private conversation. Never released it. V is pissed off at me because I didn't. Oh, I thought you like gave. Yeah, he yeah. said you gave it to him or something. No, we were on a we were on a uh, playing a game, and Boogie was fucking blowing me up. And I said in the game, Boogie's blowing me up, and he wanted me to release it, but I wouldn't because it's just not worth it to be right to me. I mean, it would have been very damaging for him. But what's the fucking point? Just to make him look bad? Like that's just. That's no point to me. Yeah, but hang on. There's a difference between what he did and he me made a show- video. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Me showing one message saying, "Yes, fairly soon." It's but what like, you say? Yeah, okay. It's I not mean, like well, he's fucking yelling question. at me or anything or swearing or it's damaging to his. It's just him. It's just me proving that I am saying the truth. That's all it was. And to be there clear, was- you know, I don't think Sargon whatever that video was where he showed uh, Coach Red Pill's docs or whatever on that website, I think that's fucking stupid too. Like, I, I, I don't think... message sent him, him saying fairly soon, much different than a docs. And also, he was making me look bad was, in front of 8,000 people. So fuck him. So and it wasn't Boogie uploads a video. So it's just a different set of standards is all, right? Yeah, so Boogie fine. uploads a video to what? Three million people? He probably has a couple hundred thousand active out of that just shitting on me and I have the opportunity to, to be right, but I don't do it. So I am just saying I live by my own standards. Okay, I'm not, so, so, it sounds okay. douchey, but I'm not yeah, like, I, I, would do what do, you gotta do. I would release it if, if it was in front of 3 million people, fuck them. But I didn't. I'm just saying, I don't think it's worth it just to be right on the internet. I, it's, well, I, I think right my, or wrong. my name and clearing my name is, is, is more important. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying you felt like it was necessary and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Right. I don't think anyone gave a shit that Sargon was waffling on whether or not he said it was a debate or a conversation or if he had officially yes. agreed to it. He came on the first time, didn't he? I, I mean, I'm not privy to these personal conversations. I don't want to be like V and Quartering, quartering. Yes, he did come on the first time. But don't tell 8,000 people that you never spoke to me about that. And then me show one message that obviously proves you're wrong. And then change the goalpost saying, I, I was talking about the dates. That's it. Yeah, I know that you view that message as, as uh, vindicating and maybe you're right, but it read to me as like, a, yeah, sure, when I get to it. That's how I read it. Yeah, and, and he said on Baked Alaska stream that yeah. he never spoke to me about that. Is that what he said? I never spoke to you? Yes, yes. He said, I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. Then I hop on and then I'm like, look at this message. And he's like, I didn't say a date. I'm like, I'm going to talk about fucking dates. Talk about you just generally being on. Okay, so, so he, could you... If he doesn't on. want to be on, whatever, I, wa- I would like him to be on. That would be a very awesome round two. Plus, he's the one who brought it up. That would be cool. I would want a round if two if I were him, him too. <laughs> huh? I said I would want a round two as well. Yeah, but... no, exactly. And it would be very uh, fun and interesting. So I was down for it. Uh, but don't, like, head on in front of 8,000 people and say I never... But... 
I'm done with it. If he wants to come on, send me a date and cool. That's it. That's that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not in his head, right? I'm just saying yeah. could have come on. Like we're not gonna agree here, and that's fine. My point is just that you could have come on and said, Look, Sargon, this is what you said. You didn't need to expose I him. could have done a lot of things. Sure. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm a you different person than you could have bombed so. him. Or huh? you could have flew a plane into his building. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things I could have done. Okay. Uh, you get that out of your system? No. I'm just like so good. Go ahead. I'm going to make some food. Back to the corner. Yeah, but uh, if I were in Andy's position, I'm not going to let somebody fucking <laughs> run their mouth and make shit up. And then if I have evidence that they're making it up, not use it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's certainly you're right. But I, you, you, would, you would say that, that when would you're having awesome. a... Right. So I, I don't know anybody that would allow somebody to <laughs> blatantly lie about them. And if they could easily prove that it's a lie, not use that evidence. Far, far more people would not do, would not release personal Skype conversations to win a gay ass internet argument. Really? Far more, you think yes. far more people would allow themselves to be lied about if they could easily prove it was a far lie? Far more people don't give a shit for some, about for internet some drama. Weird, for some weird thing. What, what You keep saying internet drama. So he's he's lying about him. That's just internet drama. If you people make sure like that's it was... just internet drama, you're going to let it slide. You're not going to respond. No, but you're acting like him. Whether or not he hard agreed to coming on the show was some slight at Andy's reputation. Well, no, you're making it sound like it's some moral quandary to be able to be like, "Yeah, this guy's full of shit." Look, here you go. There's the evidence that he's full of shit. My point it's is that. Quandary. So, Jim, if I know your real name and you mm -hmm. and I said this is Jim's name, and you said no, it's not, and I just published it on the internet, you're like, "Oh, that's cool." You told it to me in a Skype chat, so it's fair game. It's on the fucking internet, right? You could do whatever you like, man. Oh, okay. So you would be okay with that. Quartering, if you want to try to dox me, go ahead. Oh, okay. So it's about doxing. My point is that when you You have... just said, if I know your real name and I want to release it, let's well, not try... dance around what you're talking about here. If you want to dox me, go for it. Knock yourself out, quartering. Well, I'm, I wouldn't do that. That's not my standard. But I'm saying, you, you would, your argument is that when, let's say we are on Skype, whatever, together, that what we say together to each other on Skype there's no kind of unwritten rule of uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, uh, you know, like privacy. You think that everybody, it's a Skype conversation between internet personalities, whatever word you want to use, that it's just like, it should be assumed that this shit just put, get, can get published at any time. You're, you're comparing some really weird shit here. He, he had somebody say a lie about him, and he proved with a simple conversation, a screen cap by showing it that that wasn't true, to releasing personal information. I, I, it feels like you're grasping at straws here. Again, it's not a moral quandary. If somebody makes something up about you and talks shit about you, and you have easy access to information that shows that they're full of shit, who in the right mind wouldn't use that? What what me? kind of what kind of soy mindset would that be? It just seems weird. Why to is me. it a soy mindset? Because you're to... being a little beta bitch and letting people run over <laughs> you when you don't right. need to let them do it. it it's, well, it's I'm calling beta. it what it is. That's that's what it is. It's being a bitch. It's bending a knee for no reason. What is bending a knee about not feeling an endless, unsatisfiable need to win every argument in life? You mean defend yourself against somebody against lying about what, you? Jim? Defend yourself against somebody lying about you. What and is what, difficult what, what, what for you to words? understand about that simple statement, Quartering? How were how was Andy's business, as he puts it, affected by Sargon in any way? You mean how it blew well, up? How, how would a guest that's coming on a show saying that the host lied about or private communication setting up a date to come on, how would that affect his business? Yeah, Shit, I don't know. How, it how, in how any would way? somebody saying that the car you sold me from your used car lot exploded? the fuck are you talking about Has he had any running a business and, his, on? and his live stream is his show <laughs> and sargon is a potential guest telling people i never talked to the host he's making shit up it's probably going to adversely affect his business when other people say i don't want to communicate with andy worski he's a fucking liar sargon of right. god told me that, that, he happened, that he never that set happened? up how is that what the fuck oh are you talking god. about that just did happen where what what who backed out because of because of what sargon because said. i came on and I showed that he was lying, people knew instantly that he was bullshitting. If I didn't come on, people would think I'm a liar, therefore potentially ruining future shows. And don't compare doxing someone's name to showing a message that says, yeah, I'll do it. 
Fucking God. Well, Jim says it's fine, right? If Jim tells me his real name in a Skype chat and I have to win an argument. Doxing is different than going like, no, he said yes. Yeah, he did say yes. I know. I said, he said yes. So don't compare fucking doxing. <laughs> I would I'm never not compare it. Maybe, maybe that wasn't it. So if I showed a message a... that had someone's name on it, I'd probably blur out the fucking name. You would. I'm sure you would. I that's yes, probably not a great example. It it should have been something more sensitive, but not a name, right? That's that's probably a bad example. It wasn't to win an internet drama argument. Oh, sure it was a blatant lie. Quartery is a fucking lie about how I if run I go my back fucking and business. To that stream, you guys hash yes, it out, go ahead. right? He said, I didn't say that. Here's a message that says, yes, I did. That but makes it, me look hor horrible. Yeah, but I, you know, I remember watching it. Maybe I need to go back and watch it again. But when I was watching it, here's what I heard. I never agreed to that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Like, it wasn't that he was blatantly ever denying. It was oh a 30-minute semantic Am I crazy bullshit. right now? And what you right showed now? was more semantics, right? He wasn't saying, if you would have showed, oh, yeah, I'll be on Friday at 7 p.m., that proves your argument. Not sure when I get to it, mate. Or whatever the fuck it was, right? Are you kidding me, dude? No? Do I sound like I'm kidding? Like, like I don't know why you're fucking virtue Jim. signaling about me showing a message that said, yeah. What do you mean? Jim brought it back up after you were done talking about it. I was responding to him. I don't give a f you can share whatever you want, right? I would he, only if you're gonna ruin me in front of eight thousand people. When no, I can now he ruined you. It, when I, well, it makes me look horrible. Come on, yes. you're being a, you're not saying you're being a, a bit hyperbolic at all. You're completely fine. Not ruining me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of pissed right now. When he's trying to okay. make me look like a liar, I apologize for exaggerating. When he tries to make me look like a liar, and he's been jerking a, a, me around for a month and a week in front of 8,000 people. Yeah, I came in a little bit hot yeah, yeah. and I showed the message. If I don't you think don't I want to show messages, that's fucking fine. That's cool. If, if that's not what you do. But that's but, all I said, Andy. I didn't say, okay. I, that's okay. all I said in the video. But, but, but you keep saying why, why, why right now. And my why is you made me look bad in front of 8,000 people. Here's well, a message that proved you wrong. And then you change the goalpost. Now we are where we are. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I felt okay. like I said what I, you know. Done. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I was done with it the first time, but I was just responding back to it. Like, Andy, you should check your DM real quick. Did you get your boy, Tommy C? You want me to jump off? Oh, fuck. I doubt it. That guy's never going to come on. He was going nuts early. He's drunk as fuck. That girl was on a, on a roll. I never heard so many motherfuckers in a seven-minute span in my life. I verbally beat the ah. shit out of him. Get your fucking ass on here. All right, quartering. Hi, Jim. Yeah. Quartering. Hey, yeah, 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 joy, joy, quartering. Yeah. So you would never, ever in your entire YouTube history ever show a private message. Is that what I said, Andy? Because this is the this is the blood sports gotchaism, right? That's okay, not okay. what I fucking said, man. Okay. Okay. Then what did you say? He said he wouldn't do it to win an internet argument. Okay. And if I did, it was a mistake, right? This is the oh. whole gotchaism that I even talked about in the video, right? Show me a fucking screenshot of me showing something. Go ahead. Uh, you I actually tweeted out showed... publicly so I can retweet it. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to send any personal information from other people. I don't know what the argument is about. All right, now, hold on. I don't run like that. Now, you hold on. You label it a, <laughs> you label it a gotcha, but hold up. You label it a gotcha, but don't you think, I mean, when your argument is it's a double standard for your, for Andy and not someone else, don't you think that's a double, you applying a double standard and not him? No, that's not my argument, though. That was my, what you were saying my, earlier. All right, I'll, I'll give you a chance to clarify it up, but that's no, no, what I was I'm understanding saying, is that... I don't, yeah, so if it's a Skype conversation, I don't think it should be shared. Doesn't mean I've made that. I've, if I made that, if I've done it before in the past, it was wrong then too. Is that fair to say then? Better way to, to unless it's to save somebody from like physical harm, in my opinion. Like, I believe I shared one with the cops when I thought someone was going to commit suicide. But no. I also did, you know. It's another that, internet argument, so never mind. What's that? Oh, okay, so. I get what you're saying. You're saying 
people shouldn't share messages, even though you may do it from time to time. You still I shouldn't do it if I do it either. Right. I shouldn't be doing that shit. It's not, Fair. I feel like at least with Skype and DMS, obviously if it's like on Twitter or whatever, who gives a shit, right? It's already public. You did say you wouldn't do it at some point. Yeah. 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 I would. I mean, right. I did say I sh it shouldn't be done or something no, like that. No, I didn't no, say I no, never no, did no. it. No, no. Earlier you said you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I would not. Now I, you wouldn't. I would. I did. God damn it, Andy. Right. I, I'm not. I, I'm just trying to be like. Just, I, I want to iron everything out. You said you wouldn't do it. It's not. You, it's not cool. Not, okay. If, if you want to now. call me beta for saying it's not cool, then that's cool by me. You know, that's fine. You should. People should do whatever the fuck they want, right? But I feel like if I'm DMing, some, DMing somebody, I feel maybe maybe other people don't feel the same way, but I feel like there's there's some unspoken rule of like this is private for a reason, right? Is that why you released his DM, or you mean like right now you wouldn't release it? Now Who's DM? it's not cool. Who's it DM? Like, it was a message between you and uh, some guy. <laughs> some guy. Give me some. I, I, give me I some have guy. it right here. I have it right here. Okay. Uh, let me give me some. Give me a hint. Uh, da, 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 da. does it have his name? Uh, an MTG subscriber of yours, and I share their DM against their will. Maybe his, they, name, some... his name may start with. It seems like J. you had J. caught him in something. With yeah, the, his name starts with J. Oh, I don't know. You have to. You have to maybe tell me later or something. But I'm not saying I've never done it before. His name starts you. with J, ends with Y, and rhymes with Toey. Are you that. talking about fucking, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to send you a name. That's cool though. I understand. I shouldn't have probably done no. that either, right? I, if this is who I'm thinking of, what is his fucking name? Wait, no, no, it's not Joey. It's not Joey. Everyone. Stop running Joey. That's not what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Joey. he said Joy. No, no. It, but, but it wasn't Joey also. <clears throat> wink, wink, hint, hint. Ixnay on the real Joey name, eh? Jesus Christ, Andy. That was good, right, Tonka? Nailed oh, it. Nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. I was just... Anyway, that's all I wanted to, to, to do a little step in there because I just found it. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I sent you irony. Email. Irony. I love irony. Well, it's not irony, right? It's It would be... Uh... Wait, um, uh, no, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> check, check a DM. Is that who you're talking about? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know his real. I actually can't think of his real name, but is that? I know his real name. name. Starts with J, ends with Y, and Y. Oh Jesus Christ! And Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. I think he's public about his name, but. There's really no point to bring him. No, no, no. You showed his entire, like, a big message thread between you and him. Through, uh, I don't, I don't no, think it wasn't me and him. It was me and somebody else who he, somebody else shared his message with me. But yeah, I shouldn't have shared that either. It's fucking stupid. Didn't need to. The, the, uh, he was, uh, I, th I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into it. But yeah, if I, I know who you're talking about, and I probably shouldn't just share that either. I think mm -hmm. it turned out that that message, Facebook message thread might have been faked too. I didn't really know people could do that back then. <laughs> yeah. So. But I think somebody went and edited it because I don't know. Yeah. It's uncomfortable now a little bit. A little bit. For harder. me? Yeah. No, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. People. I mean, Andy. People make mistakes, right? I me mean, too. I make mistakes every day. I. I. You know. I shared that shit because the guy was faking videos uh and and i shared that because some some guy lied about me <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah we can i mean yeah i shouldn't be sure so we are allowed to share things if people lie is what you're saying no i'm not i'm okay. saying okay, no, when i right. shared it, it was a mistake and i shouldn't have done it i don't put words in your mouth <laughs> that's why i corrected it You're gonna well, kill that table. This is this has been a fun conversation. So, Billy, what do you think? What's your thoughts on uh, the whole sitch? 
again, if somebody's fucking, if somebody's fucking with you or lying about you or whatever, and you can easily prove it, uh, is not the case. I, I, I don't see the fucking issue with doing so. There's this it, weird it's really politeness. Weird to me. It's yeah, like they're people are polite people on the internet, that. right? You know, like, oh no, oh no, my YouTube friends. Oh, but oh, they're the not even the friends. Twitter club aren't gonna like me anymore. Like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? I'll never get my blue check mark now. <laughs> Holy shit! I and I mean, those <laughs> just I don't. I I I'm a, I guess I'm from a different fucking part of the internet. I don't I don't fucking know, man. Well, yeah, but that's okay, right? I mean, what's okay? That, I mean, I'm not saying you can't have your opinion. I just, I don't share. I, I'm not saying you can't have yours. I'm giving you my yeah. opinion on your opinion on my opinion. See, it's like the commentary community used to be, a commentary on a commentary on a commentary, but we switched it up a little bit. Now yeah, we've now got we a live go. chat and viewers. Yeah, we have to, um, in, Inception c c commentaries. Uh, so nobody nobody thinks that it's, I mean, so there nobody would agree that, I don't know how many people are even on here. I'm not watching the screen, but nobody would agree that when you're skyping somebody that there's any unwritten rule there that you you know. I wouldn't agree that no, I, no. I when someone's lying about you, I think it. I think that all bets are off when someone lies about. Okay. You. I, I assume that every private conversation I have with somebody is going to be published eventually. That's yeah, you mind. do come from a different school, though. You come from like an era. Of, I'm just you know an era of fucking Gamergate and sh doxing and all that shit. So I don't, I'm not surprised to feel that way. The yeah. era of sounding the alarms over everything. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't, I don't fucking trust shit. You said earlier too, you thought I was just sticking up my, for my friends. Listen, I like blood sports and, you know, Tonka and Andy are okay and stuff, but we're not friends. We're not, you had sleepovers together and doing barbecues and shit. I don't talk to them on the phone about the girls I like. We're really? not friends. I, I just watch their streams. Yeah. I've got I've got about five people that I would consider online friends that I've known for a decade, so maybe in ten years, Andy and Tonka and I will go and hold hands at the park. But until then, it's going to be a long fucking wait. Yeah. All right. If we're really friends, we're not going to the park. Oh, we are going to the park. God damn. And you're going to wear your YouTube uh, belt, and we're going to wrestle in front of people and make them think that somebody put acid in our Kool Aid. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that that's the thing. Like I've talked to. Uh, Billy, like maybe twelve times ever. Uh, like I, I hang out with Andy some mornings. We we have so, some yucks. Yeah, yeah. You guys are responsible for school shootings. I didn't see that one, um, but I just had not seen any. I thought my opinion or criticism was extraordinarily fucking light, and I just yeah, never I said, you went in there. You went in there and cupped his balls before you said what you thought. I went, I went uh, but my my point of my I video like was I, I see a influx of criticisms from multiple different angles. I never said you said the school shooter shit. That was fucking uh, Jeff Holiday and Monday Matt and uh, what's the other they're, fucking they're one? Good, Dusty. Yeah, Cult to Dusty. They're a little doing just, just for retarded shit. <laughs> and and then you got people, you got people like uh, Sofane, I think um, David Sherat. Uh, who's that fucking guy chick that gives you a lot of shit, Andy? Teresa something? What the fuck's the, his name? And Theron Meyer. Theron. I think that's Theron. it. Yeah. Uh, Theron Meyer. A bunch of other people that fucking, uh, if, like, oh, you're platforming Nazis and the world's going to end. Then you got Mouthy Buddha, who I, I I still can't wrap my fucking head around him talking about mean comments in the chat. I thought you like, guys <laughs> ironed it out, though. Didn't you? I'm, I'm not these guys. I'm giving my opinion no, in no, the video I mean, I as a viewer. You, I thought you, like, directly criticized him and he responded. Am I not? Did I not see that thread? Did I? I, I did has Mouthy Booty responded? Uh, <laughs> well, Backpedaling <laughs> is isn't a resolution. It just means that. Well, now not only did you say some bullshit, but you're spineless too. Yeah, but people can change their minds sometimes, can't they? So is, to get back on my point, I look at this as something I like to watch. I like watching people be autistic on the internet. I like watching Spurgs <laughs> flinging shit at each other. That's my goal. That's what I like. So I want to help facilitate that. So when I see yeah. people coming in from the fucking uh, bleachers with their opinions on how things should be run or how they could be better served, uh, that just seems like they want to soften it up, shit it up, and make it uninteresting. Then I don't get to watch people be autistic fucks on the internet for my own goddamn amusement. It's a purely selfish goal on my part. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I think that's totally admirable. I, I, think, I think I said you're either friends with them or you just like the show. Maybe I didn't word it right, but I would do the same thing. If I mean I didn't, I'm not. I'm unaware of people saying 
you need to deplatform people. I don't see that stuff. So, I mean, I think that's stupid. I mean, you should have on whoever the fuck you want. Yeah, the criticism was either you shouldn't bring on the guests that you're bringing on, or you should bring on better people to counter them. But that the problem is, <laughs> well, the only ones like... that have accept the only ones that have accepted would be uh, Sargon of Akkad, Sticks, Hacks, and Hammer when they did the debate with Spencer. You had uh, Tariq Nasheed when he went up against Jared Taylor. That was and unbelievable. I think, and I, think I couldn't even believe the, that happened. The liberalist stream that JF had done, where I, I I don't know their names, but it was a guy from like the Discord or the Reddit or whatever. But they came on. So aside from that, but all the people talking all this shit about, oh, this needs to be shut down. It's terrible, and giving their bullshit reasons. None of them want to come on. So who, it's, who do you think they want on the left? I don't know, but it's what I find, on the a, left, right? what I find amusing is is if race realism and the alt right, you know, the ones they're focusing on when they give these criticisms, if they're such shit, if they're so fucking stupid and easily beaten and made fools of, then what is the risk of coming on and doing just that? I mean, the internet exists. You talk about, about gotcha that, culture. Uh... Well, wait, wait, you talk about gotcha culture, but that's like a founding principle of what YouTube is. I, yeah, I, I'd just, say 80% yeah. of the videos that exist on YouTube are gotchas in one way or another. And that's not a political alignment. That's not left or right or center. That's everybody. That's just how we function. So what I is, don't uh, see how these YouTubers saying they don't want to do this when they <laughs> subsist, when they exist just for that sole purpose. It strikes me as a little bit disingenuous. Yeah, well, I haven't seen anybody who's who's not coming on. That doesn't mean they don't exist. I just I don't know who these people would want. I Certainly, it's somebody on the left, but I don't know... What about that dude, uh, <laughs> the Jew guy? I hate to remember him as that, but I don't remember his fucking name. He was on there, right? He Halsey, was going yeah, Hal Halsey came on. Yeah, he, he came on and he debated uh, Nick Fuentes, which is funny. And then he came on and he debated uh, Enoch, which is funny. Uh, Halsey, Halsey's, Halsey's had, he's had no fucking issues coming on. You can say what you like about the guy and about his politics or anything else, but at least he's stepping up. He's jumping in there and doing it. I thought he, I thought he held strong. I mean, I can't say who, I mean, the, I, I thought know. against uh, Fuentes he did badly, but I thought against Enoch he seemed to control the conversation. Like every time that Mike tried to talk, he'd be like, "Let you know, don't interrupt me, don't let me speak." And he had a he had, he was kind of in command of that conversation. He wore him down near the end. You could just see he was fucking tired. Yeah, he, you could t you could tell uh, Enoch was just uh, he he was starting to get tired out by Halsey's constant. Uh, debate tactics, blood sport tactics, whatever you want to call them. But he did have a good plan. Uh, yeah, he, he, yeah. Nonetheless, he went in and he did his thing. But Halsey at least shows up. Um, so Does again, it goes YouTube back channel? to these people that don't want to do it, huh? Does he have a YouTube channel? I don't know who he is. I, I have no idea who the fuck the guy is. I, I, I watch the, like I said, I like watching autistic people scream at each other. I don't know who Halsey is outside of just the blood sport shit. Andy, who do, who do they want? Who do, uh, parentheses, 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 mm -hmm. they want to come? We've had, we've had, we had the opportunity to ask, uh, Spinosaurus that question just last week. I saw and, he was on, yeah. Yeah. We sat there for a couple of seconds in complete silence before he just admitted, Well, that's a really good question and I don't think I can name anyone. The reason hey, sorry, being sorry. that they want a special person to show up question? who's going to win no matter what. They don't want a Who specific do they want on person. your show, Andy, to to make it pure? Uh I fucking I've asked them a million times and no one's given me uh, any answers. They don't David want to name a name. Day. They do not want to name a name because once they name a name, that person shows up. They don't do so hot, then they're fucked. Don't well, name a name well, and just said, keep complaining. I just said the funniest thing. Remember, I uh, the other day, other day, we got David Shred on, aka Spino, and I asked him, I'm like, he's actually fine with the blood sports thing. He thinks it's cool. He's like, yeah, whatever. No, it's cool. Uh, and then I was like, uh, well, a lot of people bitch who are like on the left or the center about me bringing in the wrong people to defeat the alt-right or whatever. So I'm like, do you have any suggestions? He's like, can't think of anyone. So yeah, not, not on YouTube him. anyway. Yeah, but he's like, I'll I'll do it. And I'm like, fucking awesome, done. How much money would you someone... need to pay for Annie? How much money would you have to pay her to make it happen? Pay for who? For Annie. Uh, I wouldn't pay ten, her ten for grand Annie. For Annie versus so, the alt-right? No, she'd have to pay me and suck my dick. <laughs> uh, but no, we have actually on, on, on Tuesday as well. So tonight's going to be Joy versus uh, Nick. But we also have on Tuesday is actually an anti-blood sportser who's going to be on. An anti-blood sportser. So it's my first debate. It's the first, it's the first show that it's me as the, a debater uh, with JF as moderator. Who is, uh, oh, you don't want to say who it is probably? 
Nah, his name's Yusuf or something. Oh, oh, it's just like nobody, nobody I might know. Yeah, but he ha has the balls to jump on and tell me why blood sh sports should be shut down. Well, and maybe, so and maybe I. And he's black. I thought that? It has, has to do it. <laughs> and, and, and he's black, but not that. That, that has to do with anything. Whoa, and, yeah. <laughs> also black. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you should put that in parentheses when you put the title of your video in there. Just mm -hmm. put his name and then put. He's black, by the way. The uh, <laughs> I feel, I feel like uh, maybe I see a lot of um. He's a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm, might be my neighbor. <laughs> yep. He's a nig. No, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. No, no. I think I feel like uh, I don't think. I think blood sports is popular for a reason. I mean, I th the only the only annoying thing, and I don't think I get this from you directly. Unfortunately, I have a line to you, is that like a lot of people mischaracterize. Well, I get lumped in with you know everyone else, like Sargon and V, which isn't exactly a fair criticism because I feel differently about it. But I never said it needed to go go away. I said it's good. I said it's po it's just popular for a fucking reason. Um. But then I get fucking people spurging out on me all day, which I guess I'm not used to. About that's saying, what I deal with every day, quartering. <laughs> my entire really Twitter feed. Twitter. Twitter. They're a okay, passionate you know, fan I had base. DMs. People are like, all, like all day. Yeah, Andy, 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 mm -hmm. put your put your tampon in. Take a my doll. It's the internet. Everybody gets screamed at for something. No, no, no I'm fine with it. <laughs> don't, don't compare war stories about mean comments. Jesus <laughs> Christ! What are, what no, are you no. People doing? No, my point is, my point is. I'm so desensitized to it. I know this is his first, his first outing. Uh, it gets easier. <laughs> I'm embracing the not <laughs> Your Thanks, holes get bro. wallowed out, Thanks. you know. Yeah, yeah. You'll have a fucking Nazi tattoo on your fucking left chest in no time. Yeah, who says I don't? You don't know, Andy. You maybe you do. Yeah. You could be behind. Hashtag me too. Yo, yo, this is a new hashtag me too. People are mean to me as well. Oh god. That should be a fucking thing. Mean comments. Uh you know, according to the there was one other comment you did mention because after your your salt line comment, I was sort of looking through shit. Uh yeah, yeah. you had said that uh, uh you know, I don't even want to misquote it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go look it up and then All I'll right, let me grab it. I gotta, I gotta grab water quick. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna to continue making food. Um, I have a, I have a is that, feeling. Is that all you ever do, Andy? It's like I'm, you're always taking a break to do something. Making no, food, making I'm, coffee. I, I, I've been trying to make this, this fucking food, and every time I'm like almost done, I just hear, "Hey, Andy, so what do you think of that?" And I have to run to the computer. Like, <laughs> so I'll be right back. Well, I guess I guess it's just us. Oh, well, what would you like to talk about, best friend? <laughs> I, not that match that we're going to have in a park. In I think years. it'll be fun. You know, I'll hold your belt, and then you can film me crying about it while I look at the YouTube plaque that's centered in it. Mm. And I could talk about how much it means to me and how it deeply affects me on an emotional level. I'll have an emotional connection with it, and then we'll wrestle. You know, I'm, getting, I've, I've, I'm about half masked right now, so I think I'm down. Are you, you enjoying that? Yeah, you think now about I'm it? I'm down. Yeah, you down for that? You've talked me into it. I'm sold. Jesus well, Christ! What is go. it? Did he fucking shut a dungeon? Did you hear that? <laughs> Somebody got shot. Bloodsport strikes again. Another innocent victim has died. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, think there, back. I think there are people who really do think there's some bloodshed that happens with some of this stuff. Like they act like people really are getting hurt. Yeah, it was uh, some entertaining shit uh, listening to those comments from uh, certain individuals talking. It was just stupid. Cult of Dusty was the worst. I think Jeff Holiday was just trying to just you know have a like a little gotcha, like a needling jab kind of thing. He'd love to. And get I don't know. I, I don't know what Monday Matt was doing. He had like a, a long. You guys were arguing about that shit for like a day. Matt's mad at me hard because because of the the YouTube plaque thing. I don't know if it's what that. Happened? Oh yeah, he's very mad about that. He's tweeting about it today still. Okay. He's a puss. Nobody has anything nice to say about Matt. Fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, this was the one. Uh, this isn't even really a criticism. I'm just trying to get your mindset on this, all right? 
Yeah, yeah. My fucking uh, soda's said, frozen. That sucks. You, you said there's a huge fallacy in the video. Uh, he correlates subgrowth with large scale improvement or, or uh, approval or interest. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when you're looking at Tonka Saw, Andes, or even Baked Alaska's channel, and you see that large uptick, that all corresponds. It, it does correlate with them starting to do the blood sports stuff. I mean, what what else would you think could possibly explain those three particular channels having a large growth pattern when they're all yeah. engaging the same new type of content? Maybe that wasn't worded correctly. My point is that subgrowth doesn't necessarily mean, you know, People are subbing because they're into it. I mean, Steve Shy says what fifty thousand subscribers. That, that was well, I could I, I could have made the the money argument. I mean, and this this is my speculative guess. I can't say because I don't have access to these. Well, the money spikes. argument is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, you know, I'd say Andy probably somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand. Tonka probably ten thousand. Baked Alaska probably five to ten thousand. Uh, yeah, you know, the money people, is undeniable, people, right? But I I also tried to go out of my way and not because I think a lot of people are criticizing that. I don't think that that's fair. Like, I, 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 I'm indifferent to it. I don't use Super Chat. I know people who do. It doesn't fucking bother me one way or the other. I mean, if people are going to have ads on their videos, if they're going to have a Patreon, I don't see what the difference is with the Super Chat. I don't I don't have an issue with it either. I, I think uh, good good on them. Who the fuck cares? I wish people would use Streamlabs, though, because YouTube's getting rich, taking 30%. I, I'm sure they will use Streamlabs eventually when YouTube starts cracking down on Super Chat, which eventually and inevitably is going to happen. Very yeah, I think I think it, this year still, it will get. I mean, you can look at what's going on with Twitch. People are running for the hills right now, shutting down accounts left and right because uh, shit's about to hit the fan tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, Twitch so. is going to be. I thought Twitch was going to be a, a safe. Uh, in twenty eighteen, I was going to try and spend time growing Twitch, but then I saw their their new TOS come out, and it's just another fucking doomed to die platform. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. There are no alternatives, though, right? There's what's the one that Venti used forever? I never even heard of it. Um, stream it? No. What the fuck is it called? Hitbox. Hitbox. Yeah. Do people? Do they have traffic? That that went under. Oh, did it? Okay. I, from what I understand, it changed its name or got bought up, and then I, I think it closed down. I don't know what the fuck it's doing right now. If I could, some Twitch shell company probably just bought it and shut it down. More than likely, they could have shut it down just because they didn't want the competition. I mean, it's a possibility. I'll buy it. Some fucking, I don't know. Is with, is is I don't know. Do you think Super Chat has nothing to do with it, or do you oh, think uh, it's... So, Tonka? I sent you a DM. Can you confirm if you're coming to my birthday party or not? Oh fuck's sake! I mean, we are best of friends. I don't get that mindset. I, do you, am I the only one in this room that thinks that's out. weird? Like to, to have internet friends, or, or am I alone on this? No, yes. I'm I'm with you. I no, I don't I don't do the internet friend thing. There's You don't have friend people you're friendly with online? No, well, there's a difference between being friendly yeah. towards someone and yeah. being friends. I mean I mean I'm friendly with people that I run into at the supermarket doesn't mean we're going on dates together. No, but I also didn't say you were their best friend. I just said you're friends. Yeah. I would consider Andy a friend. You know, even though we don't like go to the bar or whatever, but you know, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe it's just gay. Probably is. I think a lot of people use that friend thing so that they can, when it, you know, when someone eventually calls them out, they're like, "Oh, well, they were my friend, so now they backstab me." I think that's you think used so? A lot. You think people think that far ahead? What makes people fucking friends on the internet? You both opened up a Google account. I hate everyone. If you have regular <laughs> interactions with somebody, I would say that that's probably two thirds of what makes somebody a friend, other than the real word. You're saying people can't be friends if they don't. See each other every day in real life. Well, no, you you can be friends, but you're not gonna. You're not everybody on the uh, internet who you speak to and interact with. You're not friends with. Well, no, I don't. Most I don't of agree them you're not. I don't, think so either. I don't either. Yeah, but... I don't even like JF. <laughs> it's like as a person, so whatever. <laughs> I just like you as a person. Nice. <laughs> Worski's gonna be interesting tonight. Nice, Andy. We've got something to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spit on him. <laughs> 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 no, I, I play. This is like a Facebook mentality to me. I mean, there's some weird shift that took place. I'd say like around 2010, where people started acting like the people they talk to on social media are friends. It, it, it's kind of weird. But but why isn't if they say they're if they both agree that they're friends, then why is it not? No, Just I'm saying it's. I, no, no, I'm saying it's weird that they would agree to that in the first yeah, place. Yeah, okay, that's fair. And I, I would yeah. counter with that for the same reason that two people who get together and say that they have bugs living in their eyeballs. 
are not correct. People are wrong. It just blew my mind. They they get delusional sometimes. They buy some to shit. To me, it's that ain't no real. different. It's no different than like I I live in a small town and there's a bar. You know, go to the bar here. I see the same fucking people every week. I would consider. You know, you're at the bar. You talk because you're in the bar together. You're kind of whatever. But I don't hang out with them outside of the bar. It's the same thing with internet culture. Holy you shit! Know? I, I'm trying to imagine going to the bars I go to and talking about internet things. I'd probably get fucking. No, hit. I don't. I They'd don't talk a about bottle over my head and call me a fake and throw me out the door. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we don't talk about internet things. But I'm just saying it's the same way. Like I don't hang out with them. We don't go to the movies together. But I would still say I'm, you know, friends with them. But I guess I just maybe I'm. You know, it's all that soy. I, no, I'm just I'm, saying it's no, a different really. mindset. I, I, it really is. I don't know. It's a modern thing. It really is. But um, it's just, it struck, it strikes me as weird. And I'm setting my ways on this particular thing. I mean, that's fair. What are you, about 100 now? You're 100 in the internet age. Right? About internet that, years? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just, it ties back into my point. I mean, my Blood sports to me is my form of entertainment. I want to watch people spurring the fuck out and be autistic as shit. And so it annoys me when I see people coming in or what I perceive is coming in. Uh, to try to tinker with the uh, formula that's providing me with my entertainment. It'd be like if somebody went in and I'm trying to think of like something comparable. It'd be like if somebody went in and started locking down accounts on DeviantArt. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> don't you? My access it. to Spurgs. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I get it. I, I get it. I mean, I would defend content that, you know. Look, I came on. I, you know, I stood. I stand by what I said. I, I just, I don't think it's bad. I never said it was bad. I just, I worry about the, and you guys don't, and that's okay. It's not my fucking show, right? I mean, I worry about people getting burnt out on it. But maybe, so what if they get burnt out in a year and then they just do something else? Then who cares, right? It people got be, burnt it out be, on. It, it could be a complete fad rather than a trend. That's fine. But I want to enjoy it while it's here. And yeah. if it burns out, let it burn out. Uh, you know, if it sticks around, let it stick around. But I, I do find it entertaining. Uh, y you know, it's just something that draws people in. It's the reason that shows like Springer or Povich or the others were popular and watched. It's the reason people like fucking Morning Zoo Radio. Uh, it, it's kind of that attitude that develops around it. I mean, you can look at the chat right now and you're going to see people calling all of us faggots. So you got a whole mixture of our audience <laughs> participation mm -hmm. on their viewpoint of what they think of the show. But the point is, they still like interacting with it on some level. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, not, it's not like some groundbreaking formula. I mean, it's just, it's a fucking live stream. There's nothing solely unique to it. It's just a different kind of mindset going into it uh, that allows it to be a little more entertaining. Uh, and, you know, if it lasts a year, it lasts a year. Yeah, I mean, fuck, how long was Jerry Springer? I'm trying to see how long Jerry Springer was on TV. Had to be like he was fucking on 20 like years. 20, 30 years. Yeah, he was on forever. All, all of them were. Anybody that was in the 80s was on for a ridiculous amount of time. Donnie 26 Hamburg, years. And before Even Jerry Richard Springer. Bay, as yeah. local as he was, was on for a while. Before Springer, there was Morton Downey Jr. I, yep. After Lord. Springer, fucking didn't Steve Wilkos pick up the mantle? <laughs> I think Wilkos is still on. And then there's Maury Povich, too. That fucking guy's been on forever, right? People will always line up to watch conflict. I mean, the fact is, if you take and you go into the middle of the fucking town right now, and you just nail up a poster that says, Today there will be a hanging at 5 p.m. No name, nothing of the sort. No matter how grim you, you want to look at it as, there will be people there at 5 p.m. to see that hanging. They'll be there. Same thing with a fight. People want to see conflict, even if they know fuck all about it. They want to see yeah, conflict. Uh, it's the appeal. I mean, shit, if you look at the compilations on, even like I say, like YouTube, you enter something like... Uh you know, uh, fight or uh, road rage or any of that shit, Fucking you're going to find karma cops. Yeah, Crazy videos that haters. have millions of views that have been up for a day. You know, I mean, people love that shit. Uh, Live Leaks is a website is dedicated to that premise. World Star Hip Hop, some of the biggest videos they have are their fucking fight compilations. Mm -hmm. people oh, yeah. Good family undeniable. entertainment. And, you know, I can't speak to what other people's criticism was or is, but I felt like I was pretty clear. Not that I keep need to keep defending myself, but I was pretty clear in saying, like, <laughs> the numbers are undeniable. Like, I'll never have – look. I mean, Tuck has got almost 3,000 people watching. I'll never have that many people on a live stream, you know, regardless of how big my channel gets. So you can't really argue with that. But, yeah, Tuck's but, channel's done really well. I mean, he's got – what are you sitting at right now on subs, Tuck? I, I haven't even checked. 11. Yeah, 11K. I mean, nearly 3,000 watching, if that's what it is. Uh that's that's a pretty good metric. I I couldn't pull thirty percent of my audience if I did a live stream. 
yeah, yeah no you know, I'm a, I'm a, that, that just wouldn't happen. 10, 10 is like the standard for old, old, old head YouTube channels, maybe 10% if you're lucky. Yeah. Well, maybe a no, I wouldn't even, I, I don't even think I'd pull 10% shit. I mean, if I've got 200,000 subs, 10% be, well, I, I don't know. Monday yeah, and Matt gets know. about 80 people on live streams. Well, <laughs> He's got like his channel is also, thousand. you know, I have a channel like that that's old too that barely gets any engagement too. I think there's people get sick of you, but also I think YouTube stops kind of giving a shit about older channels. So the Matt thing really, but the, the the fact that you laughed at him, that unboxing video is goofy. It's funny, and that's really what's upsetting him. I think it's a mix between that and he. I don't know. He used to come to me and failure all the time. And tell us that we were the only people who actually treated him like friends. Like I never told him he was my friend, but he always told me uh, he was uh, his uh, friends. And he was like, "You guys, you guys are the only ones who treat me like friends, and that I can listen. You know, that'll sit here and listen to me and stuff." And I was, I was fine with. It. I've never really had anything against Matt until that day when I said something about Jeff, and he starts losing his shit about it. And every well, since then, this morning lost it. about his cry video. I, I never really understood why people up, upload videos of themselves crying because I know that you have to then export the video, edit it, you see yourself crying, you decide to keep it in. Some people put sad music over it. It's and then not like he live streamed it. it and like yeah, sat yeah. there and had That'd to be one it over. Thing. Like, yeah, th this was something he actively was like, okay, this is what it's going to be. What's wrong with watching a video and going, ha, fucking pussy? What's wrong with that? That's possible. I mean, oh, you mean, I was, I thought you were I'm saying, not saying that you're saying it's wrong. I'm just like, just generally. Nothing's wrong with it. Yeah. But it hurt his feelings, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's, it's a funny reaction to getting a YouTube plaque. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I he feels like he's been accomplished, but, but it's, it's a fucking goofy reaction. I don't understand why that would bother Matt so much. All right. They, hold on. This, this is, I, I hate to do this, but I've got to make this more hilarious here, Billy. It, it's not, you're, he's not crying at the plaque. He was crying I thought, I thought at he was a crying about the plaque. Well, no, he's holding the plaque, but he's crying at a fucking stock letter. You oh, from YouTube? Two? Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's like, like, you have changed. He's reading at the words of a stock letter. When uh, can I ask you what date this video went up? By the way, you haven't Two seen this. No, I've seen I've seen the video, but I, I didn't really like why. I saw, some started to cry. I chuckled a bit, thought it was funny. You just funny, start laughing I, through all the shit he's doing. You kind of lose yourself in the hilarity. Well, no, because I, I find it weird. He he wasn't like this video wasn't up after the adpocalypse, was it? And no. he got really fucked in the ass by Google. He got crushed. Yeah, he got crushed. Oh yeah. God, do you think that'd be the Google. response if he bitches about ad revenue? They just send him the video where he's crying, thanking them. Like, <laughs> where's the admiration now, Matt? <laughs> God. YouTube would do well to be a little bit more rough like that. Yeah, yeah YouTube needs to hire that Wendy's chick. Probably the fucking Wendy's, whoever runs their Twitter account. Yeah, get her in here. But yeah, I, I saw Matt, uh, what I did see with the interaction between you two, uh, I, did, I did know the crying thing set it off, but uh, he seemed upset. He was like, he, he was he, am I getting this right? The gist of it, Taco? Was he trying to say that you needed to be more responsible with your platform? Yeah. So is it? More or less to that effect. That nicest way to put it. It's that, but also I'm uh, salty and I'm irrelevant because blood sports has outgrown me. Whoa, and... that's that's pretty icy. He won't come on the show and talk to you though. No, no, he he's refused to talk to me. Well, he he's been on the show before though. Well, when he him came and, on the uh, show Johnny to talk. Fox to is me. that where the the real I'll fight you in real life meme came from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that came from. He wanted to fight Johnny Fox that. in real life. He doesn't want They're to talk gonna meet to up at uh, Kilroy. Yeah, that's a re really bad hill to die on. They, I was scheduled to speak there. I had signed the fucking paperwork and everything. Oh, so you're but, gone uh, now too? Aren't they still? I, yeah, I backed out immediately. Yeah, I backed out when um when I think I signed but the paperwork. Did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Like you, you and I were talking. You're like, what do you uh, make of all this? It was after I made a few streams. Yeah, I didn't know about it. And I, and I was like, any, yeah, so I, I, I had to explain everything. I'm like, whoo, where do we start? <laughs> it's like an yeah, hour Yeah, I didn't know. I just was like, oh, this is a, a cool, like, opportunity. And then I saw Andy make a video, and so I had to DM him, like, uh, what's up with this? And then I just dropped out. 
And the next day you were like, Dog. yeah, yeah. fucking out. Yeah. It's still happening. Think... You know, the people that, um, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Yo, yeah. yo, it's so funny that night. Uh, I forgot who was bitch. It was either Repsion or Monday and Matt, like one of them of that group of rocker or something. Someone's like, yeah, whatever, Andy, like you're fucking over your friends. Quartering's coming. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> They've re- All right. They have <laughs> updated the website and removed the quartering from the guest lineup. But I just noticed that Monday and Matt actually has his Patreon in his little, like there's only, like it only has like your at for Twitter and your YouTube channel in your description. But Matt's has his fucking Patreon in it, too. Ugh. I think I said I was still going to go to Arizona and, and get hammered with Andy and Sticks, but I don't think either one of you guys are going, right? I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm sort of like, I don't know who's going or whatever. I don't, I don't anybody's waste... going. Yeah, I don't want to waste my money, man. It's I'm an expensive pay... fucking ticket, too. For I to... If yeah, nobody's yeah. going there, don't do it. I wouldn't LA or something anymore. and just hang out and just, like, fucking, you know. Or take that money that I would have spent there and just fucking have a wild week here in Canada. Huckers and blow, you know, whatever. No big deal. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Yeah, secret plan. I, I don't want that being leaked. Send it to me in DMs, dude. I'll keep it. All right, one second. Hang on. I'm just one of those <laughs> weird motherfuckers who wants the internet to stay inside my computer. Just that kind of That's guy. where it belongs. I'm telling you. I know, right? fucking go and hang out with people from the internet what do you do when you you don't even know if you've got the right person something what is that he's like well what's <laughs> up raccoon lover xd 440 <laughs> right that's oddly specific i don't people have the dumbest fucking names on the internet <laughs> everyone has a dumb name on the internet like, could you imagine walking around like with a person like face to face calling them like I don't know, like I'm gonna walk out and call you the quartering. How weird would that yeah, be? Yeah, it's fucking awkward. How yeah, awkward is yeah. that? That feel weird? Yeah. Like somebody just sitting there face to face with you. What's up, quartering? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's cringy, but also, you know, what about with other creators? You wouldn't wanna go hang out with other like you wouldn't wanna kick it with Andy. I mean, uh Warski show. I, I don't want to meet people on the internet. Maybe one day down the line, you know, you know somebody like real well is like, okay, yeah, sure. We'll get together, have a few drinks or some shit. Way down the line. But it's not like, oh, I met someone cool. Oh, it's time to go hang out with them in real life. I just started really hanging out with Andy like two months ago. Yeah. You were- what am I heading to your birthday party? I swear to God. <laughs> your birthday yeah, parties. what happened to that? Yeah. Oh, actually, you uninvited me because the the Israel thing, right? Yeah, you fucked up Israel. Oh, you're having your party in I want to go to Israel instead of fucking Arizona and see what happens. Just take a selfie with uh, the wall yeah. the Israel sign. I'm going to suck my the... dick on that wall. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, Andy. My fucking my... <laughs> they will fucking put a bullet in your head, Andy. kill the fuck out of you, Andy. Yeah. I'm going to go, oh, they, as I'm blowing oh, the fucking... Oh, oh they? <laughs> oh, they? Hey, check this out. That's my Jewish accent. And it would be epic. I mean, it would be one hell of a way to go out. Just make sure somebody films it at least. Don't be a, don't fucking deprive us of that. Yeah, put it up on Live League. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Who fucked with Jesus here, huh? Adam Ray Swarski shot mm-hmm. to death today in Israel. Mm-hmm. For the crime Hasbro. of dicking the wall. Fall- phallus attack occurred today at the Wailing Wall. Mm-hmm. What about going to the Dome of the Rock and just doing a helicopter with your dick in there? Would you do that? I'd fucking do anything there. You would die so quick. I'm going to put fucking posters up with Tonka's fucking uh, face and his link and go, this guy hates Jews and just put it all over Israel. Oh, I was about to say, if you put it all over the Dome of the Rock, they're going to praise me as a hero. Yeah, how (laughs) How many fucking posters do you think you'd get up before maybe... One What's your brother on that? Ten? None. Zero. He'd get zero up before he was completely killed. <laughs> completely killed. <laughs> they would they check would, his they would, they would cut him into pieces before his completely no, killed. No, no, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna hire a bunch of Palestinians to help me out. Oh that Oh work. yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be on, on that. Yeah, that'll work. Your life yeah. force will be terminated. I'm gonna go 
it's like I'll have them all around. I'll hand them all one poster each, and I go, ah, and then they all run at the same time and put up poster up at the exact same time. Fucking book it to the airport. Done. They're gonna get tea bagged by the reaper so list, hard. Dude. Uh, I, me either, it was man. that woman. It was the woman, Andy. Yeah, I know Claire. Yeah, who, who's supposed to be on this show but then canceled? I wonder why she canceled. Well, she doesn't want to associate with somebody on the hate watch. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to try and put her on the hate watch. How the fuck go, is she going to do that? He's going to change his avatar go. to her picture and start talking with a soft feminine voice about how he wants yeah. to murder Jews and eventually yeah. it'll Oh. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be like, I don't know, she's on DMs with me just saying nigger all the time and I'm like, "Whoa, calm. Calm yourself. What are you, Sargon? What are you, Sargon? <laughs> <I'm just trying. laughs> yeah. Oh, vey. Oh, no, yeah, right. it, it was her. Uh, I, you know, she started talking about it, and then the uh, whatever website that was, Right Wing Watch or whatever it was, wrote the article mm-hmm. like a day after or two days after she had talked about you and wanting you on a hate list. And then the next day after that article, it got put up on the SPLC. Yeah, actually, are you on, the, are you on Right Wing Watch, Andy? Uh, yes. may, maybe. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it should be uh, uh, your real name. It should be, yeah, they use his name. Uh, it should be YouTube Blood Sports New Alt Right Phenomena. Oh, I see it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'm also on the SC. Hey, Medicare, you're on there prominently featured, too. So are yeah, you? They, they don't. God uh... damn it, so am I. <laughs> yeah, so you are go. you, yeah. You are on yeah. that pay- picture, too. My face is on the fucking right wing box. Congrats. Hope you're okay with that. People told me to not be friendly with you, and now look, I'm on. Mm. God damn it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's I wish they would have. Really wish they would have used Adam Morsky. That would have just been the best. Yeah, yeah. I uh, no, I'm. I wear it as a badge of honor. It's right. It's right next to my hood. Uh, you know, Andy. Um, I, I was thinking what might make an entertaining show if you could swing it. Uh, because you've had you've had Fuentes on right before. Yeah. You times. should have. Uh, you should have Fuentes and James Alsep on together. Why they hate each other? Okay. I just think it would be an entertaining show if you could. Oh swing my that. god! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll set that up for uh, not this week because it's all booked for this week. N- next week, Keebler Elf Gif. You know, Halsey and fucking Enoch <laughs> are doing a rematch next week on on, on a on Tuesday, twenty seventh of February, wherever that is. I'm like, what? It's already been booked. I'm like looking through group chats. I'm like, oh, I guess Nine we have days. a show. They've been going back and forth in this group, in this group chat forever. So, all right, but I'll set up a fucking. Uh, no, I think it, I think they'll have a very friendly conversation about the issues with you. It should be great. Uh, I don't trust anything you say, Medicare. Oh, come but, on. Okay. Andy, I'm not I would saying, never, I, Andy, not... I would never lie to a friend. Come exactly, on, yeah. our good oh, friend BFF? Billy here. Yeah. BFF. No, no. Look, I don't trust you, but. I, I, I like, like all those questions you sent me and I just say it like, it always starts like the USS Liberty. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about, but I guess I'll ask this question one hour later of yelling at each other. I'm like, Medicare was right. That doesn't sound like I, someone so who wants to come that, to the birthday party. That Lauren Southern was the only one on that fucking stream that got the question I was asking. Nobody else knew yeah. what Murdoch Murdoch was, but she instantly picked up on it. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't trust you, but I, I trust that it'll be fucking a disaster, which is great. I, I think it'll be good. Yeah, there, there is a dispute between them. Yeah, they have a little bit of heat between each other, but they mm-hmm. both do streams all the time. They're both well-spoken, so it should be... Oh, shit, my pizza's gonna burn. One sec. Oh, fucking, fucking stoner. Hey. Fucking stoner. He's fucking burned. See, look, this is what I'm talking about when people bring up Andy in the ovens. He doesn't know what he's doing with the ovens, lads. You, you need to... You need to let somebody else man the oven. Just running straight out. All right. Well, I, I got to jump. Uh, it's It's been fun. Um, Good time. You're probably not going to get that Tommy guy on today, huh? It doesn't feel like it. It, it feels he like he's me. talking himself. He DM'd out. me. Oh, he did. Oh, did he? What did he's he say? A- I owned him. He's not showing up. He he's said, under the balls. So I wrote him. I wrote, you said I'm not worth it to be on my show. Fuck you. You talking shit about me. I was a little bit heated. Uh, I gave you the chance to defend your position and you become a coward and now you shit talk me. And then he wrote, shit talking you, WTF, did you even watch? And then he sent me a one minute and 14 second video, uh, but I haven't watched it yet. It's going to be I, that I bit talk. at the end where he says that he respects you after he... Tra- 
Oh, well, I, I can tell you this. Probably starting the DM with, uh, hey, motherfucker, you should talk to me. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. No, no, it was, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Billy, you're misrepresenting me as you. You're usual. misrepresenting me. <laughs> okay. I, I said it like this. Correct the record, Verit for Andy us. Andy the okay. diplomat. Yeah, no, no, this is how I said it. Hey, motherfucker, what's going on? Yay, I heard you're shit talking to me. It was like that tone. Hey, what's going on, motherfucker? Hey there, motherfucker. Hey. Oh, hey, was it that tone? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Daddy, home, motherfucker. To really convey that to him, did you? It's just hard when you read <laughs> when you read the text, but it's, hey, hey. Andy, wait, wait, explain to me how the secret plan was any different than you going to the chat and calling him a faggot. Like, if you're just calling him a <laughs> faggot in the DM, what's the difference in the plan? Uh, I mean, you make a point, a valid point there, but... That's a valid point. You fuck? know, I learn every day. Uh, I, I, tell you to go read, I tell you to go read The Prince, but you'd probably think it was a musician's autobiography or something. Like, you're never gonna, you're never gonna learn deceitful tactics, are you? <laughs> you're never gonna learn no. how to manipulate people. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I know there's an excuse somewhere here. Hang on, hang on. Oh! Because he wasn't watching the show. There you go. He wasn't watching the show. His entire mm -hmm. chat was. Tonka, are we? I thought we were BFFs, bro. I, I, thought, I thought you were coming to my birthday party. I'm, <sighs> it's it's a pipe dream now. Uh, I, dude, I don't know, man. Like, you don't know who's your, who's your real friend on here. It's like, yeah, it's like you don't All know. Right, I'm going to hop off. Take it. I got to go, go make some shit videos. Yeah, you're not yes. coming to my All birthday right. party either, Quarter. So just, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. I Hi, give good them. gifts, I promise. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, yeah see ya. <laughs> Peace out. All right, I'm going to bounce too. What uh, a bobo. It, it, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, another Andy secret plan <laughs> right out in front of us live. Gold. I just, I keep... Holy shit. Enjoy, enjoy your burnt pizza, Andy. Have fun. It's not burnt. That. I was smart. I turned off the oven when I came back in here thinking <laughs> I would forget about it. So it's not burnt. I'm a pro with ovens, you know. Oh, he, he, he fucking left. He didn't hear my joke. I th he may be better off for it. 